Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can design an algorithm that can calculate the RR interval from a heart rate data set. I am defining a function. The input to this function will be data, sampling rate and window size. So first of all, we have to calculate the peak list for that. I will be using the function that I have defined in the previous video of detect peak. So let's call that function. So the detect peak function will return a list of peaks that it has extracted from the signal and we are going to use those peaks to calculate the RR interval. I have explained this function in the previous video. If you haven't watched the video, I will give the link in the description. So after finding the peaks, I have to extract the list of the RR points. So for example, consider this is our function. So I have to I have these points in the peak list. So I have to make a list of these points. So that can be done as multiply by 1000 because all the values are, will be in milliseconds. Next I have to find the indexes of these peaks. For example here it is 100, 225 and it is around 330, 350 and here is almost 500 so let's extract these indexes next let's calculate the difference absolute difference and then calculate the square absolute difference so let's take the square. Now we have calculated all the parameters. Let's make a dictionary to store all the values. So for that I will declare a dictionary. Beside these parameters, let's save the peak list. You can also store the moving average values. And also we can store beats. Let's calculate the standard deviation as well. So Let's save the standard deviation as well. And return this dictionary. So in this way you can calculate the RR interval as well as their indexes, absolute difference, square absolute difference, moving average, standard deviation and beats. So I hope you have learned how you can calculate the RR interval. RR interval is calculated here by differencing the peak values and dividing it by the sampling rate. So you will get the in between time which will be RR interval. And all others are the related calculations. So we will be using this dictionary a lot in the future. So that's why I have created the dictionary and saved all the variables in here. Let's run an example. So let's call the function. So this gives us the error of index out of range, and this is because that. I have calculated peak to peak indexes including the last peak as well. But this should be up till second last peak because there won't be any RR interval after the last peak. So save this and rerun the example. Another problem you can see here is that 
the our algorithm is detecting a smaller peak as well. To eliminate this problem, you have to update the detect peak algorithm and you can add a minimum value or percentage with the moving average values. So it will increase the overall average value and it will eliminate the detection of lower peaks. So save it and rerun the example. So now here you can see that we have eliminated successfully the lower value. The problem can be understood by you can see if the overall moving average is around 1400. So we have two peaks here and here, here and here. So I have given that increase the moving average by 20%. These minimum peaks are very low and these greater peaks are very high. So it can be detected easily by just adding some value with the moving average. I hope you would have liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.